Okay then. So let's begin. So we have as our first presenter, uh, Mr. Nathaniel Bichard. He is a lead prototyper at Polyvent project. So if you have not heard what Polyvent is, it's a versatile ventilator design platform that's meant to help people create their own minimal viable products or educational kits. So Nathaniel has been working basically with the project since the very beginning. And two years ago, he was uh, one of the founding members. He was, I believe, 15 at the time. Now he's slowly approaching the age of 18, but you know, he's rather very talented. So Nathaniel, we'll leave the floor to you and uh, you have about five minutes of including questions. So please feel free to begin. I'll get off stage now. All right. Hi everyone. I'm Nathaniel Bouchard and the lead engineer of Polyvent. And this is the machine we've been developing over the past eight months together as a team. Um, what Polyvent essentially is, is an open source development platform that enables entrepreneurs to come in and to use their own parts and own things gathered in local places, right? So you can gather local manufacturers and create a tailored design for the local environment. Um, this, um, will allow us to create cheaper and more versatile and adaptable ventilators eventually. Our current short-term goals, because this is a big goal, right? Our final goal is really to have an open uh, company take our design, our development platform, and use it to create a prototype for a ventilator that they eventually take the certification. However, our short-term goal is to bring these into universities to use as an education platform and bring into animal testing labs to use as a tool. Um, yeah. So now I'm going to show the actual machine running. We have the display there. I have my tanks all set up and I'm going to turn the thing on. All right, I'm going to then change the, uh, by the way, you'll be able to see the breath plot on the vent bond there. And I'm now going to change the respiration rate up to 14 breaths a minute. I believe it's at 10 right now around. All right, so you can now hear that's going a lot faster and you can see the test lung there on the right of the screen. I'm not sure how visible that is. Yep. So in the chat, you'll be able to see the graph of the machine. So I'm just going to let that run for a little bit. All right. So I've now set the oxygen FiO2 percentage up to 50% and that's going to take a while to come up. So I'm going to come back at the end of the presentation and comment on that. Now I'm going to lower the respiration rate again. It's pretty stressful and this thing's hyperventilating right beside me and copy paste my command. I'm using these perks commands. I set it to eight breaths a minute, which is a pretty slow respiration rate. All right, next I'm going to lower the pressure. So now the pressure is half of what it was before. That's the airway pressure. And you can see that we're creating smaller curves there. The crest of that wave is lower. And then uh, on the right of the screen, you can see the oxygen percentage, which now is up to 42 and climbing. Next, I'm going to up the airway pressure to 
30 centimeters of water. We're running in pressure controlled mode right now. And, but there's no reason why this machine can't do hardware, um, not hardware, volume control and CPAP. We just have not set up the software for that yet. All right, FIO2 is at 48 and climbing. It should reach somewhere between 50 and 60. From what we've got in our tests, that's a combination of the air we breathe right, because it's combining uh, room air and oxygen from the tank. So we would just reach the 50 barrier there. And we are almost done. I'm going to get back to the rehive. All right. I think we're about out of time, but that concludes. Yep. All right, thank you, Nathaniel. Um, Nathaniel, maybe you want to give a couple of words of how the machine actually structured before we open. If you got anybody, if anybody any questions, I think it was a very hands-on live demo, by the way. It's always hard to pull off. Yep. So. I'm going to turn the machine off, actually. Um, yeah, so the machine runs on a proportional valve right now. That's the main gas drive within it. So this is what we had before which is a set of bellows, and we're still able to use that. Well, this is the actuator, and this is the bellow that comes along with it. Um, this thing allows us to, the machine allows us to use different kinds of ventilator technologies, and that's why Polyvent is really an open source development kit. We have different, you can use different technologies like bellows, blowers, the proportional valve that we have on here based on local needs. For example, bellows are good when there are no compressors around and you want a standalone system, while the proportional valve is better for a more well-resourced hospital. Much, Nathaniel. Um, we're about out of time, so let's move on to our next uh, big applause from Nathaniel, live demo, nailed it. And um, let's begin with the next speaker, which is can I interrupt just a second? Sure. Um, while we have Nathaniel here, I would like to present Nathaniel with the highest award, which Public Invention provides the best public inventor of the year, 2021, with a plaque that reads presented to Nathaniel Beshard for the poly event, which is the machine that you have just seen. Thank you very much for your fabulous work, Nathaniel. Uh, I'll get off the stage now. Yeah, thank you so much. Clap, um, clap, clap, clap. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, um, yeah. 